In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to get your inspection data from REST into Property Inspection Manager. We'll cover off how to create the data file in REST, how to upload this data file into the secure area of Property Inspection Manager online, and then import this data into your iPad. First, let's create the inspection data file in REST. Go to REST. Go to the Others option on the main toolbar, and then from the drop-down menu, you'll need to select Export Data or Export Data. Once you've selected Export Data, you have another choice to make. You're creating an Excel file, and now you're going to export the, the data for all your property managers, or you can select an individual property manager from the drop-down menu. Next, you need to select where you're going to save this file to, and we recommend that you save it to your desktop so you can find it quickly. Create a file name, and again, we recommend that you put a date in there so it's easy to identify the most recent file that you've created. Press open, come back to the data screen, press start, and this will create your inspection data file. Once you've created your inspection file, you can then upload it to the Property Inspection Manager website. Visit the website propertyinspectionmanager.com and log in using the sign up login button. Use the username and password that you were given when you signed up to Property Inspection Manager, PIM Premium. If you don't know this, please ask somebody else in the office or email us at support at propertyinspectionmanager.com. You'll then be taken through into your secure area of the PIM server. We then want to navigate to one of the tabs that says Import Files. We then need to find the file, but first let's select the product that we're going to, that we use to create that file. I've created a generic file here. I'm going to find the file which I put onto my desktop. I'm going to select it and press Open. Once I've done that, I'm then going to upload the file and then that will be uploaded into your area of the PIM website and it's available for you to then download onto your iPads. Once you've uploaded your inspection file to propertyinspectionmanager.com, you're ready to import your properties onto your iPads. Before we do this though, let's make a few checks. In PIM, go to Settings, go to PIM Admin, go through inspectors. Now PIM is intelligent enough to be able to filter that inspection file by the default inspector for this um, PIM on this iPad. That default inspector is the one at the top of the list. So if you want to change the person um, to be the default inspector, press edit, press the little gray bars and raise up to the top level, then press done. That person will now be the key person on this iPad and inspections will be filtered against them. Press admin settings. The next thing we want to check is the property profile manager. The property profile is the property profile that you will import your inspections against. So make sure that you've got the one selected that you want to use to import against. Go into this file, make sure that it is toggled on as the um, default for import and check that the inspection areas are the ones that you want to include. Once you've done this, navigate back out again, and the next thing that we want to check is the inspection type. Will you be importing properties for routine inspections? If so, make sure you stay with inspection report. If you want to import your properties for condition reports, toggle condition report. Once you've done these, then we can start to import. So navigate to the bottom toolbar, Go to import, select import files from the top left hand corner, go to the refresh button in the bottom left hand corner, press OK and this will find any files that are available to import. You may find several files here so check the one that's appropriate for you with the right um, details in there. Select that file. Well, there are two options that you have here. You can show all new properties that aren't on your iPad already by toggling this one on or you can show existing properties that may have a new inspection date but have some information refreshed, such as uh, new tenants or new um, uh, rental amounts. What I'm going to do on this occasion is show all my new properties. 
That brings it up. I've got two properties to choose from. I have an option here. I can either select individually or I can um, use the select all button and bring them both together ready to import. I then navigate to the top right hand corner and that gives me an option to import the selected files or import all. I'm going to import selected. I'm going to continue once I've checked that it's importing against the correct property profile. Continue. It's then processing those files and making them available in my inspections ready for me to carry out my inspection.